When you had a bad day, or you're feeling rough, just remember this. I said, don't worry about your problems. Don't worry about your past. Don't worry about your future. Because none of it is going to last. Don't worry about your problems. Hello. Is anybody out there? Can we hear? Good morning. Um, yeah, I know I'm up early. They're doing fucking construction outside. So I woke up and I was kind of angry. So, so I went on a couple of, uh, you know, comic book uh, news sites and I checked out what was going on and, uh, well, hello. Hi. Who's in the chat here? Mootbutt was here first. Diane M, Mr. K, Plebeian, Samir Rizvi, Metalhead, Lama Gigante. Hello, all. Aaron El Fetche, hello. Uh, Poor Boy Racing Productions, Jaded Fett, Lodgy B, Anibus Network, Bob Bug with One Eye, One Eye Skiing. I don't know. I thought it was something else. Uh, uh, Axis Delezil and Flake 452. Welcome all. Um, yeah, so I was just, uh, I woke up a little early and because uh, these guys, uh, you know, they started with like jackhammers. It stopped now. But um, so I checked out some, some, uh, some comic book news sites and I saw this. Uh, let me see if I could share this. I saw this article on uh, Bleeding Fool, and it says, Ethan Van Skyver's Cyber Frog Blood Honey is making its way to backers. Now, as you know, I was skeptical when I read such a claim because you never know, you know. So I, so I, but I do, I have managed to make connections with some people. So I actually reached out to someone who would know, somebody who's got, uh, more connections than me to find out if this claim, whether uh, uh, blood honey is going to make its way to backers this week to find out if it's true or not to cut through the bullshit. I reached out to the man himself. Uh, so I called comic book hut and he told me absolutely not. It's not going to uh, and that this whole article is horse shit. And I just got to take his word on that. So um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Fake news. That sucks. Well, you know what, bleeding fool, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you can't just take people's words for things. You gotta do a little searching around, do a little at what they call investigative reporting. I, I shouldn't have to do that for you, but it, this whole, this is a fake news story. Um, the next thing I saw was uh, on CBR that Ash Ketchum is finally a Pokemon League champion after 22 years. Now I, I I almost never talk about Pokemon, uh, and I actually have a pretty uh, long and storied history with uh, Pokemon, even though it's something I, I I don't think I've ever brought up. And uh, I I remember I saw this show. I was probably in my late teens, and I remember watching. I think I've watched one episode. I don't know if I've actually finished the episode, but I just remember thinking. Okay, this is shit and it's stupid. Uh, and uh, but I did think it was a good way to introduce small children to the world of dog fighting, which is actually fun. If you guys ever get a chance, go to dog fights. They're really just you know a good time and a good way to blow off steam. Uh, and you can meet some wonderful women there. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, I understand that this Pokemon stuff is very popular. Uh, I always thought it was horseshit. I never understood that there's the team rocket. Were they brother and sister, those two, or did they, uh, do they, um, do they fuck? Um, sorry for my language so early. And if there's any of your kids going to middle school or anything, I, I apologize. Um, what is, I never followed up. What happened with team, team, uh, rocket? 
are they are they like brother and sister or or the, oh the answer is yes are they brother and sister or do they fuck the answer is yes diana m uh team rocket okay i didn't know about that um yeah i i didn't understand why if he loved these creatures he would make them fight each other and uh but uh, yeah, apparently it's very popular. Uh, Twenty-two years for anything is is uh, you know pretty good. Uh, this kid Ash, uh, I think when I saw him immediately, that first episode that I saw him in, I knew him. He was a loser, and that it would take him twenty-two years to win the championship. After you know, twenty-two years of being a star of a, of, of a cartoon, and you can't win the championship. So, um, yeah, I thought that was horseshit. So I read this article and, uh, yeah, I'm aware of Pikachu. He's got his own balloon at the, uh, at the Macy's fair. And then I remembered this chick. Um, what's her name? I gotta look. Team Red Rocket. What is this girl's name? I remember her because there's tons of chicks that cosplay. And, uh, as I will do when I start to look at things, I will then start to look for the cosplay of that person. So I put in Pokemon cosplay a minute ago, and I was not disappointed. Misty, that's her name. Um, yes, uh, I love this girl's take on Misty, uh, where instead of being a stick figure, she has a giant ass and some great tits. I thought that was a good, like, uh, a good interpretation. Sometimes it's even a better interpretation of the character as far as I'm concerned. So she did really a well job, a well done job there. Is this her same girl, different girl. Also much better. If they, if they had done a live action uh, Pokemon like this in my late teens, I probably would be way into Pokemon, but I'm not despite. Okay. So here's a team rocket, uh, Jesse and James, that's them. Uh, I thought she had purple hair, though. I'm not a, I'm not a master of this stuff, though. They had the cat, so I know, I know a couple things. Uh, she looks great too. I have no idea who this is, but she looks wonderful. Any girl that wears like thigh high leather boots, you know, chatter up, you know, unless it's a guy. A lot. Mm. Yeah, yeah, this is a this is kind of a uh, a weird thing. When you see this, this means Supergirl, and sometimes that means like not a girl. Uh, yeah, this is this a different one from Misty. The other ones, yeah, I, I like what she's doing there with the with the like uh, full breasts and the tank top. Um, this one is odd. I don't know what this is. Never saw this character before. Um, but they, but I appreciate what they're doing. This one's more into nature. She's very cute. Okay, so now this girl is being one of the Pokemon, uh, and what she's got a rubber dress on like a bee. Uh, does anybody know what the name um, of this Pokemon is? Anyway, this is a disturbed person that would dress up like this, and 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 and. I would say immediately chat this girl up. She's covered in regrettable tattoos. She's wearing a rubber skirt and giant uh, stingers on her hand. You know, this is someone you'd want to know. Uh, she will break everything you own at some point, but still, it's a fun journey uh, if you can take it. Uh, I don't know what this is, but that's interesting as well. What was the bee called? Piccolo Dick? Says simple green. Is that it? Okay. Um, is this the same girl that was the uh, B? I'm looking at the regrettable tattoos. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's her. Is this the same girl in everything? No, no. Okay. Is that her too? No, she doesn't have tats. But yes, this is this chick was the B. Uh, B drill. Thank you, American Fry Corpse. Uh, what is this chick? Dragon girl. Uh, Char Charizard, is that what you're saying? Okay, this is Charizard. Uh, I, I guarantee that she looks better than whatever little horseshit thing it is in, in Charizard. Okay, she she's great as Charizard. This girl is, is Ash, right? And she's got um, uh, her tits done up like Pokeballs, which is a great look. Uh, and then finally, uh, 
I don't know, a fat Asian fellow is squeezed in. I mean, when you when 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 a when a giant I, 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 I sympathize with this guy. He's probably fun, but but why why does he have to bring don't bring paperwork with you when you're going to do this? But uh, so that was the last one. Uh so yeah, so this this uh this article I appreciate because it, it did bring me over to uh to uh that page which had these uh chicks and i did enjoy that so are they called yellow wizard hold on let me see bam, bam, bam. i will let me put on my camera you guys do you guys want to look at the the chicks or should i put on the camera i might leave that up I, I guarantee you that's a better view than of my of my face. I know, yeah. Uh, now I have to promote comics book uh, books, uh, Comicsgate books now because uh, John uh, Malin, who was uh, always worked tirelessly to uh, promote other people's work, he's a good guy. Um, he uh, he got banned from Twitter because. Uh, we were all see same thing. We were hypnotized by ass. It was that chick uh, Charlie X X and we were just staring at her video. A couple of drooling morons, and uh, yeah, evil Ethan did it. And uh, his channel is gone for ninety days, I believe. Although he, we don't have final uh, verification of the sentence, but either way, he's in YouTube jail. Um, Adam posted a Cecil, bring me on College of the Dead. We'd love it. I'll bring you on, Adam Post. I'm going to start bringing people on. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to uh, start doing uh, filling in for Johnny, doing some uh, comics book presents uh, episodes, and uh, and I'm going to grab an oar and uh, fill in the slack and help out. So, yeah, you can, um, let's set something up, Adam Post. I'll do that for sure. Oh, I could. Oh, I could put my camera on. Also, hold on a second. Even we could put that girl, that girl with her ass up, and and my. Uh... Wait a minute. Did I actually? There oh, we go. I'm not even drunk this morning. Uh, I'm. In fact, I'm quite sober. I didn't drink last night at all. Uh the the fire dragon says i wouldn't be surprised to learn ethan did it on purpose he's that patty yeah i mean yeah it 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 it, it, it uh it totally seems like a oopsie you know i made an oopsie but i don't think so uh hold on. yeah i will do art reviews of even though i have no uh artistic ability or training I will I will also do John Mellon's art review. So please send me your art uh, and I will review it. Uh, Some degree of sundown says uh, I saw Charlie XCX at a Taylor Swift concert and she herself is a drooling moron. Okay. All right. So that makes me feel better. Yeah, chicks with IQs over 80 are boring anyway. Uh, what what is this the hut? Yeah, hopefully the hut will 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 uh, you know grab an oar and help out, help out for Mal Mousy Mail and and uh, and Little Caesar. That's being clipped. <laughs> uh, Adam Post, you can't be messaged. Okay, hold on a second. I'll I'll. Uh, Give me a second. Now you can message me. You're welcome. Um, oh, that's nice. A Jedi friend, uh, a Jedi knight and friend to Alita says she, she can drool into my mouth. That's nice. Um, scroll down a little bit here. Let's leave her for a while. That was nice. Got it. All right, Adam Post. So I'll, I'll set something up with you. We'll do it. Uh, not right now. This is going to be a short stream. I just wanted, you know, 
uh, everybody to know the news that Ask Catchem is a uh, is a Pokemon League champion after 22 years. I know that a lot of people woke up this morning. They had no idea. Uh, I wanted to be the first one to bring it to you, you know, after CBR, of course. But uh, I, I, would, uh, I would hate to think of you walking through your day and not knowing this news. You should know it, you know, before you get to work, on your way to work, know what's going on. Know that Ask Catchem is, um, is a Pokemon League champion after 22 years. Uh, the cartoon that has done more for the world of dog fighting and cock fighting than anything. And uh, really a tip of the hat to them for doing that and bringing in, you know, uh, new fans to the sport. It is a sport by the way. And uh, you know, I just wanted to get out here. I, you know, as I just explained, I have a pretty you know long and storied history with, uh, with this cartoon. So yeah, I'm, you know, congratulations, Jess. Uh, catch him and uh and and pikachu i imagine uh pikachu was the one fighting when he won uh i didn't watch this episode i don't know if it came out yet it's the wait hold on it is the in the 139th episode of pokemon sun and moon anime ash for the first time ever finally won a pokemon league champion to ascend to the long coveted rank of pokemon master this victory should not be taken lightly. Believe me, I am not. That is the culmination of an entire saga in anime history. I mean, hats off to Ash. Uh, really, uh, hats off to to to, the, to this chick who's who's dressed up like this girl. Hats off to that girl. Hats off to her. You know, hats off to her. Same chick. I'll leave this girl up too. So really, I'm proud of everybody involved, and uh, I just wanted to make a quick morning video, say hello to a few people. Uh, if anybody else has a book, say hello to me right now in the chat, and I will uh, send you, uh, I will follow you so you can send me uh, your link. And uh, I, I, well, I'm not going to do a regular morning show, but I might. People Circus. Oh, the chunky. Oh, I thought you said something else, um, because uh, what happened? Do I have another? Story? Oh, we have. Uh, I thought you said chunky some some a, a racial slur instead of. Uh, see that? That's my own problem. I honestly thought you did a racial slur for this guy, but it's not. It was a chunky chick at the bottom in yellow. Um, yeah, actually somebody just got in trouble. Um, uh, the, uh, the dude who's playing, uh, what's his name? Master of Kung Fu. <laughs> um, the, you know, he was on Lost. He's, well, let me see if I can find, I just saw this article. Hold on a second. All right. We, we dispelled of this rumor. This is a, this is, will not be making its way to backers. I checked with the hut completely false fake news um do i see anything about no maybe it wasn't here it was not on this site uh anyway the guy playing master of kung fu for the next marvel movie oh maybe it was on the uh hold on yeah here's where it was maybe it was here Pennyworth, Preacher. I'm looking for. Uh, the, there's a new. Uh, there's a new cast member on Saturday Night Live, and uh, he's uh, Asian. And there's another kid who used the word that I thought was just used by People Circus, but it was not used by him. He said "chick." Um, I thought that was what he was using. So one of the new cast members apparently. Uh, a few years ago said that word and of course that means that his life should be over forever we all know it and the master of kung fu is uh is leading the way to make sure that uh that man will never work again because he said something once that was bad where the hell uh, is it anyway it's the dude from lost remember the the korean dude from lost anyway he's playing master of kung fu let me see something. Oh, there he is. 
I think it was him. No, maybe it wasn't. No, it's not him. Different guy. So he denounced SNL comedians' use of a racial slur. Uh, is that his name? Is that the same guy? Uh, Simu Lu. He, uh, he, he's playing Master of Kung Fu. Anyway, Shang-Chi. Uh, I thought it was the guy from Lost for some reason. I don't want to get into some kind of now trouble by saying they look alike, you know, but I thought it was the dude from Lost who was complaining the most, but this is a different guy. Um, yeah, and Tom, confusing Asians is, is offensive. I might be right. I think it was the actor from Lost who got uh, upset, but this guy says he's, he's Shang-Chi. Shit. Do I have to do this live on air now? Lost cast. And let's see if I'm right. Please, I'll be so such a goddamn racist if I... There, this guy, Daniel Day, Kim. I thought it was him. I thought he was the one who was bitching about uh, the guy who made the, the slur. But now I'm looking at it, Shang-Chi. Hold on. Let's go through his. Oh, yeah. No, I was right. See, look at that. Ding, ding, ding. Cecil wins. I knew it was a Korean guy. Uh, Daniel Day Kim. He said it took 45 years for SNL to get an East Asian cast member. And the same year, he'll be joined by someone who have no problem calling him a... I'm not going to read it. You've got to be a joke. There's got to be a joke out there somewhere. So uh, this uh, guy is a new cast member, I think. And then this guy said uh, the word that I thought that uh, people surface said. So, you know, he's gotta be um, canceled. So if, ever, if all of you could help cancel him, that would be fantastic. He should be driven into the ground for that. But uh, so it was also the guy from Lost and also Shang-Chi. So uh, a lot of people are coming out against that and uh, rightly so. Yes, Mr. K, thank you. The, I wish the J team was there. They would they they would uh they would sock him in the gut and then tie him up in court for years. Oh, Adrian, the world isn't fair, the world isn't right. Thank you, Adrian Stone. Begin the canceling of this fella. What was his name? Uh, I forget the guy's name who uh it just joined uh Saturday Night Live, but I think just to be on the safe side, cancel everyone that's on Saturday Night Live. Uh, I think that would probably be uh, just the best way so we don't miss the right guy. Oh, his name is Shane Gillis. But we should just cancel Saturday Night Live anyway because they're turning a blind eye to his uh, to his hate. And Ding, ding, ding. Also a different. Oh, oh, wait, Johnny Incel. Ding, ding, ding is not a different guy. How dare you? Uh, he looks like an angry feminist. Well, he's the master of Kung Fu. Uh, no, not. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> hmm. Albert. Albert Fish did not die for this. That's true. He died for eating children. That's why he died. Sun. Oh, that's it. Sunrise with Cecil. All right. Maybe I will do this every morning. Does Does, does anybody? Uh, <laughs> something Wong is. Uh, yeah, he's also against it. There's a lot of guys who are against it. Ah, oh, you love the guy. Love the SNL guys. Hate. Yeah, I guess that's how we defeat the things we hate with love. Uh, all right. I am going to wrap this up because I got to go get coffee. I just wanted to do a quick live stream where I say hello. Hello. How many minutes was this? 25 minutes. All right, I'll do I'll 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 make it 30 minutes. How about that? 5 more minutes. Holy shit. Uh yeah, I haven't taken hangovers into account. Yeah, uh, 
as long as I don't drink the night before, I can do this. Uh, no, I'm not doing shots. But I bought this bottle, uh, I think, last Tuesday. So we did some damage on this. And I've had a rough... Uh, a, a bunch of live streams we've been promoting the shit out of uh, John's book. By the way, thank all of you, everyone who um, who contributed. Oh, Andrew Sabina just gave me five dollars. Uh, thank you very much. That was a uh, very generous of you. Bam Cecil. Oh no, I thought it said Bam Cecil stream. It says eight a.m. Cecil stream. Are you up early or really late? I'm up early. Some working men outside were were, were using a jackhammer. Or they were just smashing somebody's head in uh, near my window, but it woke me up, and then I was like, "All right, let me let me get let me get going." I took a shower, I got dressed. Uh, I just wanted to see what it would be like to be a normal human being for one day. Um, so far, I don't like it. Uh, I'm not a fan of uh, being a normal human being. You know, these Pokemon pictures helped, but other than that, and the five dollars that was just sent by Andrew Sabina, that helped too. Uh, well, there's a lot of good uh, suggestions for uh, the name of the show. Sunrise with Cecil is good. Um, good morning, Cecil. Morning, Dick. Morning, Wood. Dick for breakfast. Uh, yeah, the, hmm, these are all really good. Dick Rising. Yeah, I like I, I don't know. I, I think I might like Dick Rising. Uh yeah, so thank you to everybody. Wake up next to Cecil, get up Cecil, coffee time with Cecil. Yeah, I, I'm going to get coffee in a few minutes. Uh I have the app. You have to order it because I'm in the I'm in the boroughs now and the fucking lines are so ridiculous. So you've you you have to go on Starbucks, order it like 20 minutes before you get there and then and then you can only wait and then when you get there you only have to wait 20 minutes um so that works and no no adm shots i'm not going to do shots i'm not going to be peer pressured into doing a shot on monday morning at 801 no uh dick goddard says don't steal my name won't do it uh These pokey tits are making my dick rise. I'll see myself out. <laughs> Which one? This guy. Oh, man. I knew somebody would peer pressure me into doing a shot. Are you, is that true that the cool kids are doing shots right now? Fuck. I'll do one shot. But I'll do it out of the box. Now... I'm not. I'm not driving. I, I live in a town now where I can walk to it. So, cheers! Happy Monday, everyone. Oh, that's good. I feel much better now, actually. Um, that, uh, Lama Giganti, if you can just please, uh, um. You know, whisper in the cool kid's ear. Let them know uh, that I did do a shot too. That would help uh, towards my cause of getting in with those guys. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> oh, the name of my show should be called "My Life Is Falling Apart with Cecil." That that might be too on the nose. <laughs> anyway, this is. If they do a live action show with this girl, I will get into Pokemon. What did I do with my life with Cecil? Uh, that didn't have a question mark, so that one is disqualified. Oh, I like that one too. Dick Stream. Crown Apple. Uh... Yeah, normally I'm a three-finger type of guy, but it's 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 eight oh three. 
and and I, and I'm actually you know sober, and I and I didn't have a hangover last night. This is like a rare, a rare. Um, uh, I, I guess I could do one more, but that's. I don't know. No, that's not. Enough. But that's it. You guys can go fuck yourself. I'm doing more than that at eight o'clock on a Monday morning. No, Surrey Bob. Um. Cheers. I, that was a double. So we got our three fingers in. Here we go. Uh. <sighs> No, I'm good. That's good. You know, alcohol thins the blood. It's good for your heart. It's good for uh, your veins, your cardiovascular. It's uh, it's actually really good for you. I read that on actually on the back of that bottle of Jim Beam. I had not known that before then. Um, hmm. Marsupial Gamer says, this is very unhealthy, Cecil. You should really take up smoking. I've been thinking about it. Because what's the coolest animal in the world? Well, right here, you can see. It's it's a dragon, like this chick over here. What do dragons do? They breathe fire. I mean, does smoke come out of their nostrils? Yeah. It's a fucking no-brainer. I should start smoking. Um... I gave up drugs. I I I I, uh, I started food instead. Um, that was a couple of years ago, and I really took to food. It really it really became a a passion of mine. I I do have a fridge full of beers, but I'm not gonna have to start drinking beer on Monday morning. I was going to order. I have the app here on my phone. I was going to call it in and uh, get a nice black coffee. And uh, am I being a quitter if I don't have a beer? No, I'm going to still get the, uh, I'm going to get the coffee. And it's 32 minutes in and that's it. Uh, vaping gives popcorn lungs. That sounds delicious. I would love popcorn lungs. You know, I love popcorn shrimp. Mm -hmm. And these other guys do like popcorn uh, crawfish near me. But uh, I could go for popcorn lungs. That should be, that sounds like something at Popeyes. All right. I will check my, oh, wow. Holy smokes. I got a couple more super chats. I didn't know people could reach their wallet this early in the morning. Thank you. People cir circus with one pound for no reason. TLJ Russian bot with $4.99. Thank you very much, sir. Says, Mr. C, thanks for the morning news. Well, construction is a negative side effect, a side effect for your living circumstances. Realize it's a benefit for the, for the listeners. I'll tell you what, I'll make a, I'll make a deal with you. Every morning I get woken up by the, um, <laughs> every day is a new hellscape. With Cecil. Um, every day that I get woken up by a jackhammer, I'll do a, a live stream. How about that? Okay, I think I will. And uh, what am I going to do tonight? I'll do another stream later today, okay? But I got to go get my coffee. It was great. I got to go walk off those uh, couple shots of whiskey anyway. You know, a lot of people on the street right now, so it'll be fun. I can walk around the neighborhood. Uh, maybe I'll come back and uh, and do another stream even earlier. Why not? This is, a this is a day of new things. We're celebrating today. We are celebrating. This is a... This is a day when, uh, when, when, uh, what the hell's his face? His name, uh, Pokemon won the championship. Today's a day of celebration. So I may do a noon stream. Who knows? I don't know. Anything, it's anything can happen day. Okay. I love you all. Let me do one last check. No more. I love you all. Have a great day. Uh, don't do shots like me. Uh, do something better with your life. And I'm going to go get, uh, some black coffee and start off good. Uh, love you all. Take care. Bye.